My name is Soli Shin and I'm from New York City. My current track is Energy and Environment led by Professor Tim Johnson. I did a bunch of research on environmental management programs when I was applying to grad school and I thought it was a good mix of both the academic and professional education that I was going to need moving forward in my career. My classes are pretty specialized in energy. Um, and I like it that way because I feel like I'm really getting um, what I pay for. And the classes are medium size, they're super technical, um, and they're very, very quantitative. And coming from somebody, it's coming from uh, my personal experience where it's been mostly writing based and administrative work, um, getting a deep dive into some of those technical aspects is gonna be critical for me moving forward in my career. So that's what I appreciate about the academics of the program. I'm taking a class right now actually at the Pratt School of Engineering um, and it's an advanced corporate finance course. And I've been having a lot of fun just being with um, non Nicholas students. I think it's great to learn from other people um, and also just a great way to explore the other opportunities and resources on campus. I think that it's really easy to view environmental problems as a problem meant just for scientists and for technicians and engineers and it's really not about that. I think that a solution is always going to be interdisciplinary. You're working with policy makers, you're working with people that are working at companies and you're working at for um, you're working with nonprofits, and I think that that mix of people is going to require more than just technical knowledge. Uh, so that's what I mean by the lens of the humanities, figuring out a way to communicate these issues um, on a non-technical level for non-technical audiences. My main piece of advice would be to try everything. I think that you have to be biased towards action, and I think that if you're ever given a choice of doing something versus not doing something, chances are if you have the time and you have the resources and you can dedicate yourself, the answer is always yes. Um, and there is just a plethora of opportunities that they can take advantage of, and I would really encourage them to um, be engaged.